Let's get right back to that breaking news in Manchester where we're learning a massive fire was ignited after a car crashed into a multifamily home on Center Street. Channel 3 Eyewitnesses reporter A. Lil live on the scene and A.O. we know the driver of that car was killed. Wendell and Nicole, that's right. An unfortunate update to this story. And right now, fire crews are wrapping up their work here at the scene. And now the Manchester Police Department's accident reconstruction team is on scene here investigating, trying to figure out how this crash happened. And so we're told by officials that car crashed into this home here on Center Street. And that is how the fire started. So I want to give you a live look right now at the scene. You could see both Manchester police and fire here at the scene. You could see that car is badly charred both floors of this home also seeing extensive damage and the roof caved in and collapsed so we want to show you some eyewitness video that we gathered here from the scene we're told that there are about four to six units inside of this building and 14 people lived inside of the building seven adults and seven children fortunately they all made it out of the building safely they self evacuated and we did also also speak with a neighbor who called 911. He said that he heard that car crashing into the house, heard some type of explosive sound, and he ended up calling 911. And he did see the body as well. And uh, as for the fire, the fire chief says that this was difficult to put out for firefighters because of how large the flames were. Firefighters tried attacking the fire from the inside of the building, but then had to move to an exterior attack. And we did speak with the chief of the Manchester Fire Department earlier this morning. Here's what he had to say. It was very challenging. There's a great deal of fire, large volume. Our guys made initial entry and uh, uh, the whole second floor lit up. Our uh, on-scene incident commander made the decision at that point to pull our folks out and go defensive. Uh, I think it was a great move. Knocked down a lot of fire from the outside. Then we were able to get back in and, uh, and get it under control. And so back here live, you can see Again, the damage to this home and to that car as well. The house has been deemed uninhabitable. As for the 14 people who lived inside of the home, we're told Red Cross is assisting them. And so uh, it's going to take some time before we learn more information from Manchester police as to how exactly this crash happened. But again, the reconstruction team is here on scene trying to piece it all together. As soon as we learn any new developments, we're bringing those to you on air and on our Channel 3 app. Live in Manchester this morning, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.